Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natinator. And we're back with Corpse Party. Chapter 3. So let's get right into it. I'm loving this game so far. God damn. Chapter 3 over here. Yes, let's do it. can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? Who the hell was that? And why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be goners. Where's Kurosaki? <laughs> Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any minute now, I'm sure of it. Uh, I hate this, I hate this! I don't want to die like that. You saw it too, right? Emmy's body. Her head. Her head was split wide open. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it, please. <laughs> Damn it. Where did everybody go? Ah. Uh. What? Look, Furu Fukuroi. Look, the hallway. It, it, can't, it can't be. The corridor. It grew. What is? No, no, the other way. Look down the hall. Something's. Ah, something's coming. W what? Ah! W ah! 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 Oh, oh dear. Oh! No! No! Oh my, that was a quick opening. Yeah! Ah! Uh, uh, no! 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 <laughs> Oh, we're outside. Oh shit. Get up. Get up. Run. <laughs> go, go. What's happening? What the hell is going on? That's what I'd like to know. Oh. Give me back my he. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Phone call. Answer it. Uh, hello? Help me. Help me. N Naomi, uh, are you there? Answer me, please. Mom? Mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! I'm in real trouble. Naomi, please, just let me hear your voice. <laughs> please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. God, please. 
please don't let anything have happened to her. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh. Help me. Ah! I don't understand. You said we'd make it out of here. Together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? What did you see? It really is a pity. Oh shit. <gasps> Who are you? I am the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds this school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That's horrible. Now that your friend has passed away, this school this space is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. N no! You will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. That's pretty deep. My cell phone. Does Psycho's num- My cell phone does have Psycho's number stored in it. And everybody else's, too. Eek! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, ow! Oh, God, it hurts! That sound... Was that sound... My leg? Ugh! Oh, uh, uh, <coughs> oh God. Pull yourself together. You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. I'm... I'm not tough at all. Psycho. <laughs> Psycho! I can't take any more of this. Somebody, please, help me! <laughs> Where, mommy? Satoshi! Where? Well, that's a great intro into Chapter 3, I guess. Oh, cool. You're doing great, Yuko. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm not crying. I'm not. I sensed another corpor corporeal being such as yourselves were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki, Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, 
and Morishigi. In other words, everybody in the room at the same time. Damn it. So everybody else is in this school, too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in the school. But it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. And that's a fate best avoided. Oh my. I don't know what to do. Well, we have to try finding our friends. No other choice. We appreciate the warning. But we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Big brother. They're all such good people. They've done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, even if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. Big Brother. Hmm? What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entranceway, or an emergency exit, or roof access, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're to go straight home. No buts. Capiche? Okay. <coughs> Alright. Looks like we're getting ready to play now. Newspaper, okay. Breaking news, serial kidnapping. I'm pretty sure we've read this. Yep, we have. Oh wait, crap, I accidentally skipped his line. Uh, anyway, during one of her candle-lit uh, vigils, I guess she did say it was a true story. Alright. What's this? Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked, so there's no way to get to it. Alright, note taken. There is a key in that thing. There's a door behind the shelf, but it seems. Yep, okay. I know all about those damn doors now. Alright, let's get the hell out of here then. Let's try going up. <clears throat> Just for the sake of it. Oh well, well, we can't go in that way anymore. What's this? Okay. They keep lightning and darkening, okay. So we don't know what it says. Let's go in here. Oh, it's dark. What is it? Oh shit. Dead body. Why? Owie! You hurt my hand, big brother. Ache! Yuka, don't look! <laughs> it's not a prop or anything. It's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? Big brother? A dead body. An actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us going to die here? Big brother! Ah, Yuka. It... It's okay. Come on, Yuka. We're leaving this room. <laughs> oh. But first, we're going to inspect it. 
The message has been painstakingly carved, okay? Shit. Why would I not read it? Fucking, we're not reading it right now. First and save, just in case it fucks it. Alright. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna read it. Yes. Kill me, please, kill me, please, kill me, please, kill me, please, kill me. Can't take any more, can't take any more, can't take any more! Let me out. Oh shit. I don't like the sound of that. There's another dead body. There's clutching a letter in its hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I'd find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroko Motomura from Amazaki West High, class 2-4. Okay. <coughs> What's in here? Ballad of Bad Evie Bunny. Evie Evil Bunny. Book of Beetle Wings. Okay. Interesting. Anything else of importance in this area. At least we can still leave. Oh wait, there's a note up there. Must get it. Note. Death is blind. It comes for all souls regardless of their worth or lack thereof. Oh my, okay. Let's carry on then. Notes. Victims memoirs, one out of five. Oh, these must be different. Otaki. Mitsuhara. I want to see you again. A ghost told me. Apparently you were brought here too. But we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my Math 1 class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse if I told her, though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you. And I'm going to find it. Alright. Got a new name tag. Awesome. Now let's make sure that the other note doesn't appear around here. Let's give it a save, actually. May as well jump onto the next one, just in case. Alright. No other notes. No other notes. Out we go. Oh. Yuka? Big brother. Will we ever be able to go home again? Or are we really stuck here until we... D die? It's not true, right? Big brother? Right? We'll be okay, Yuko. That's what we gotta do. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuko. All of us, together. There's no need for you to worry, after all. You've got me, right? It... <laughs> oh god, that was a terrible hiccup, I'm sorry. It's like... <laughs> uh-huh. That's a good girl. Big brother. <laughs> Nerve's got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show Yuka there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. Yeah, you don't even know the half of it. We need to find her as soon as we can. Alright. 
do not make eye contact with the children. Their grudges serve as the ties that hold this school building together, and largely account for the dreadful curse placed upon it. When staring such power in the face, your mind will surely wither, and your soul will no doubt be eaten. Well, noted, note. Your note has been noted. For now, we continue on. Or not. Maybe there's, um, a board in here like there was last time? Oh, wait, it's up there. I see it. <clears throat> Can't believe I didn't see it the first time. Okay. Oh, got stuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> a, a child... Spirit? That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. <sighs> Big brother. <laughs> it, it's okay, she's gone now. We'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, fuck that shit. I don't want to have anything to do with that. W w wait, what? That's bullshit. It's jumping across as well, like the last one. We're gonna have to do that thing that we did with the other one. Alright. Is it just me, or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it. Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. Okay, so it's just to the left of those two boards. We got it. Whoop. To the exact left of the boards that look like that. We've got this shit. It's gonna be too easy. Right there. Here. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh? Big brother! No! Don't leave me! Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay. But you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Alright, wait there. We're gonna get this board. Even if it kills us. Which it might. Everything else fucking kills us in this game. Here we go. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh. I got it. Quiet loose board. Hell yeah. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. Y'all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, actually, wait a sec, big brother. Mm hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh, there sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. <laughs> His face. Urgh. Hey, caramel. That smells really good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at that stationery shop in town again. See? Caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Flavor? This place frightening you? Don't worry. I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. Ugh. You're a scatterbrain. You always get freaked out so easily. And it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. <clears throat> Alright, if it's bothering you that much, I'll take it. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. <laughs> Take good care of it, okay? 
Caramel flavor will keep you safe. But that's not all. Want to know what else it does? It's a secret. Huh? What do you mean by that? If I tell you, you'll get all bothered, so I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me. More than calling me a scatterbrain? <laughs> Alright, center beads. Hell yeah. I always wanted some scattered bean. Scattered beans? Fuck. Scented beans. God damn it. Alright. Oh, what? Oh boy. Eek! Damn, another earthquake. Yuka, grab my hand. <laughs> it's over. Huh? Huh. Well, that worked out to our advantage. Let's continue on then. Ooh. Skeletal young girl, okay. Closely looking, she's holding a letter. Oh. Yoshke. Yoshke. I'm so sorry. If only I hadn't discovered that stupid charm. Oh, that's it? Huh. Could have at least written a little bit more for us before you died. God damn. You missed the final bell. You missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. Well, there you go. Oh boy. Let's not worry about him for a moment. Let's go this way. Why is it dark in here? Um, what? Lux sit toba rom. Is it backwards? Ah, it is backwards. Every shelf of every cabinet, you must turn every page and rifle through if you wish to learn more about this school. Okay. Who've become trapped? Who've become trapped within these walls? Many messages have been left behind by the others. Oh god. Free of the free of the curse, may you use their words as a guide to help break. Ah. Oh. Well, that was kind of obvious, but thanks. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Well, that's about usual for you. Ooh, victim's memoirs, two out of five. I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body, bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. Well, there you go. Getting the hell out of here. I'm not gonna look at that thing. Let's just carry right on along. The heavy cabinets collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over would be far too risky. Alright. Well, I guess our only other option is this way. Why if you kick me? What? I didn't... You pay. Nope. Nope. Don't fucking stand up. Jesus. Dirty husk left behind by the soul. Filthy, disgusting carbon dust. Repulsive bag of meat and tissue. Yet one must scrub and clean it well. Presented at the moment of salvation. If 
for the Lord doth watch over us always. I don't understand, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that was a dead end. Let's get the fuck out of here then. That hasn't changed. I guess we've got no choice but to go back. No choice at all. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Guess I must have missed something this way then. Wherever the save point is, I'm gonna save as well. I think there was one in here, right? No, there wasn't. Next one. Not there. Up here, right? Should be a save in here. There you are. Hello. <laughs> May as well save on another one again. <coughs> Hmm. Oh wait, there's a cabinet. I don't think I checked it. Oh yeah, I did. No worries. Anything to read on the board? Nope. Then in that case, I've read everything. What could I have missed along here? Oh, more memoirs? No, this is number one. Oh crap, I fucking read it again. Stop, stop. Darn it. What the hell am I supposed to do now? This game can be a little bit confusing. But we'll figure shit out. No worries. Hmm. So we can't go there. These two doors here connect. There's nothing important. Can we use this? Nope. <clears throat> guess all I can do is go back down, really. Hmm, maybe I have to talk to that ghost. I don't really want to, but I think I have to. Don't really have any other things to do right now. Hello! Oh well, guess not. Hmm. Oh, idiot. Ah, uh, face palm. Fucking, someone would have seen that, and then they would have been like, You idiot, don't go all the way back. Lol. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, infirmary's locked. Oh, it suddenly gets dark. Excellent. Science lab. Oh, not dark anymore. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, let's go up here. Up to the toilets. Oh, dead body. Okay, and St. Marianne University High School, Class 2-1, Megumi Sugi. Something on the ground. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> By now, unknown key. Okay, I've got an idea. That might be the cabinet that we saw at the very beginning. Laboratories. Big Brother. Hmm? What's up? I have to go potty. Uh, uh, oh, well. The sign says these are the lavatories, so go ahead. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Yuka. Sorry to ask, but which one is it? PP. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. I hate asking such a personal question, but this place is full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting worried. Well, I'm already worried, so I'm going in there. Oh, shit. That was fucking quick. Hey, uh, done already? Big brother, I couldn't go. Huh? Why? What, I can move now? Ng. What is it? Oh. Well, that makes sense. Seriously. You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find another bathroom, okay? Can you hold it? 
be nice if the boys' room were an option at least. Guess not. Boarded up. If only we could get the nail puller from before. Guess not. You'll just have to hold it, little girlie. For now, let's go check what's over to the left. Nothing over to the left. Well, now we've got two things to check out. One, I have to put the key... Actually, we'll just make sure the key doesn't go to these things. Nope. Maybe the key works in the infirmary. If not, then it goes to that cabinet. No. Oh, it does go to this room. Okay, then we're going in. Oh, we got a save point. I'm so sorry, psycho. Naomi? Save. <laughs> no, I said save. Alright. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, what? I. What did that say? I skipped it too quickly. God damn it. Okay, scissors. Nothing. Oh, wait. The bed's a lot less dusty than I would have imagined. Uh-huh. Big brother, I'm tired. You are? Uh, do you want to take a quick rest before we go, then? You rest here with me, too, big brother. <sighs> well, I guess I have to keep you happy, so... I will rest with you. If you insist, it certainly can't hurt to lie down for a bit. I'd be worried leaving you here by yourself anyway. Hmm. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. I wonder what time it is. Feels like it's probably dinner time with Mum. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I want to go home. Don't worry. We'll get home. We'll find a way. Once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki, and the others, I'm sure we'll catch up with something. Come up with something. They're all probably looking into possible escape routes themselves right now. So we'd better keep up the search too, or else we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. Either way, it'll work out. I know it will. Okay, if you really believe that, then I'll believe it too. Yuka. It'll all work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically told her we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words, thin as paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going. To keep living. What the fuck? All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. Is that fucking Yoshiki? Looks like him. Ah, it fucking is. Oh, where am I? Oh, God, my head is pounding. Mate, you're fucked. Oh, it's you. Where the hell did you take me? <laughs> Where, where's Shinazaki? <laughs> ah. What? <sighs> Get up, man. Struggle. Ah, oh, fuck! It's this thing. Oh, my legs. 
<sighs> I can't stand up. <sighs> God damn it! Look out, no. <sighs> damn, I nodded off. What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. Big brother? Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. This isn't home. <laughs> D don't cry, Yuka. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. <laughs> when we get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? The, the green kind? With the sweet red bean flavor? You bet. I know how much you've been craving it. Okay, I'll be good. That a girl. Food. Gets her every time. I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her company. Shinohara, or anyone really. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if there's no one there to keep her grounded. Come on, Yuka. Let's go. You can stand, right? Uh-huh. I'm okay now. If you get tired again, we can always come back. Okay. Alright, sweet. Wait, what? Okay, I'm definitely saving before we read that shit. I have a bad feeling the way it came up in red. Really bad feeling. Alright, hello? Section of an old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Hell yeah. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted and killed. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. A large pair of sewing scissors were found in, him, in his possession. And these were confirmed to be the tool used in removing the victim's tongues ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of... We've already read this. Of these children, one was blank. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. The hair blanks S, P, blank A, blank N, the blank. The newspaper is torn. Big brother, the children in this picture... Yeah. That's the girl in the red dress. And that boy wearing shorts. He's the one we saw earlier. Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread of the curse, gathering. Children with no tongues. Girl with top of head missing. Girl in red dress. Child victim, grudge. Gave shape to school building. Escape? Huh. Okay, then. Oh, shit. I can't take this anymore! What was that? That was Shinazaki's voice. Come on, Yuka, let's go. Okay? Oh, shit. Eep. Wh what is it? The floor is stained in some sticky residue, as if something, or more likely someone, were dragged down the hall. Well, we know someone who was dragged down the hall. Let's take the metal tool. Oh, it's there. Now we can go to the toilet. Wait a minute. There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet. There's no indication as to how it got there. That must be, uh, Suzumoto. Damn it. Ah! How very morbid of this game. Okay, time to go to the toilet. Yes! Alright, Yuka, 
It's all yours. No need for you to hold it in any longer. Good. That's a relief. Alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There are no stalls. So, what now? Do you have to go really bad? Uh-huh. Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside... Oh, shit, I accidentally skipped it. Whoops. No, I'll keep holding it. Sorry about that. Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you've got to go, you've got to go after all. Mm she obviously got to go. And this looks like memoirs. Three of five. <sighs> Mitsuharu really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches. But it's not just the physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk. Ask him how he's been, and what he plans to do after school. Those simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now. What I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. Well, what's this? Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths must best left be untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victims' memoirs to their conclusion. Well, I know I will be, but we have save points for that. Excellent. Okay. Ah, what is our next plan of attack, then? I've got nothing anymore. Wait, what? Huh? Sounds like a camera? The hell, where did it come from? This way? No, nothing that way. What was it? Oh shit. Oh. It's Morishigi. Ah! Morishigi! You're okay. <gasps> Mochida! You as well. I'm so relieved to see someone else from class. Yeah. Bwah! <laughs> Ka! <laughs> what, what what is this is it was it a, a person it's an awful sight isn't it seems like pulverized human remains to me there's a bit of breast meat mixed in so i'm guessing female never thought i'd see something so horrific makes me want to throw up y yeah yeah Uh, at any rate, I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke in here a short while ago, and haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. So, you haven't seen Mayu, then? N no, sorry. That poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere, shivering and crying. I need to find her. I need to be with her. 
I'm certain Suzumoto must be thinking the same thing about you. <sighs> How about we look for her together? N no. If we're split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So I'm going to continue the search by myself. Uh, Alright. Then how about we designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. <sighs> Big brother... What is that? Is it throw up? It's n nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on, l let's get out of here. That boy, he was talk taking. I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, what the hell was that? Um, let's go in here quickly and save. Gotta save. Okay, save done. Moving on. Alright, what is it? What was it? What was that sound? Oh god. Um, oh. This... What? The hallway, they got bigger. This must be that hallway, then. That very one that extends, or whatever. Okay. Oh god, Musashigawa Girls High School, Class 11-3. Mika Naruse. Chihaya Nana. Please be okay. I'm sorry I'm so... useless. Okay. Door is locked. Of course. In that case, we'll just carry on then. Hmm, the boy's gone now. What do we have to do anyway? Maybe back to classroom 1A. I think it's this way anyway. I'm not sure if it is. I think it's this way. Time to go. Oh, bucket. Can she pee in there? Nope. <laughs> oh well. It would have been funny if she could. Hmm. Which one's classroom 1A again? Is it even around here? I thought it was this one. It's probably not. Oh, it is! Teacher's desk. Something seems to have written. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. Big brother, look! It says Miss Yui! Yeah, and I recognize that sloppy handwriting. No doubt about it, it's from Yoshiki. Which means he's also been brought here at the very least, along with Miss Yui. So if we wait here, do you think they'll come back? I don't know. Maybe. Though we have no way of knowing if they're in the same space as us. Ah! Words seem to have materialized, hovering in the air just above the desk's surface, barely perceptible. Unfortunately, the letters are very faint, so you can't quite make sense of them just yet. Okay. Do I have anything for this yet? Nope. I don't think the nail puller broke on the toilet, did it? I don't know. Let's see. Is there anything else I can do around here? I might just be going the complete wrong way. I think I am. But I gotta cover all my bases, you know? Gotta do it. What's this? Oh my fucking god, I've done this before. Get out of here. Alright. I forget which memoir number we're up to, but I guess it doesn't matter since um, it tells you when you're on the fifth one anyway. It gives you a chance. Which is good. 
I'd most likely forget that I was on the fifth one altogether. Alright, I think I know where we have to go. We can do this. We have to go upwards to the north. Actually, let's check the south first. Just for shits and giggles. Just in case something new happened. Nope. Alright, nothing new. Let's continue then. Gotta cover all my bases, like I said. This game likes to change things. Oh wait, what? Oh god damn it. What the hell does that mean? I just checked everything. Excuse me. Are you open now? No. Is there something under the chair? No. Hmm. Maybe I have to go back up this way then. Hmm. Where did Moroshigi go? I can never get that guy's name right, by the way. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna call that a day. Save right there. Done. Alright guys, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope that you've been enjoying this series, because I'm really enjoying it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. Take it easy and have a good day. Bye. Oh!